I'm Tom. And I'm Sandy. And we're here with City Scene TV, and today we're at Studio Channel Islands right here in Old Town Camarillo. Now, who would have thought there's all this great art right here in Camarillo? And right across the street are the artists, their studio, and where all the work actually gets done. And the gallery is right here, so let's go on in and check it out. Let's go. Come with me. Hi. Can I help you? No, we're just going to look around. Well, you have some beautiful pieces here. Thank you. Feel free to look around. Well, thank you. We're going to. There's more art everywhere you look around here. It's beautiful. So beautiful. And here we have Karen Geiger, executive director. And how long has this gallery been here? Well, we've been around for 12 years, but we moved into Old Town two years ago. And how long do you actually keep your artists' exhibits? We have a new exhibit every month. So we have 12 exhibits uh, every year. And the artists, they work out of the studio? We have open studios every first Saturday, and if you want to go across now, across the street, they're right there. You can meet the artists. Oh, oh let's do that. That would be go. fun. I would love to meet the artists. Okay. Let's go on over there. Let's go. That's great. Hey, Sandy, did I ever tell you I'm really good at ceramics? <laughs> like this finished product here? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> can I help you? You can actually help him. Well, that's what everybody says. But we have Mary McGill here from Studio Channel Islands. And good afternoon, Mary. This is beautiful in here. Oh, thank you so much. There's a lot of great art. Show us a little something. What are you making? Today, I'm working on a piece that is the female form. And I love the lines of the figure. But what I like about these is that they're also functional. In fact, this is a handle that will be cut right here and it will be placed on her side. It will look like an arm, but it's actually will make it into a pitcher. You can see that that's where the uh, spout is for the pitcher. We have classes that run all through the year, and we are also, that's for adults, and also we do children, we teach children. Oh, wonderful. Now, Mary, I have a question. How long does it take to get from here to what you have there? Oh, weeks. 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 Mm -hmm. Really? You start with the wet clay, you form your piece, it has to dry. Uh -huh. It's fired once in a kiln and that becomes bisque. And then we glaze it and then that is fired again and it becomes a functional piece of uh, stoneware. And we just completed a fire. Oh, and look you can at see that. all the beautiful, colorful things. We did pinch pop birds and we did a birdhouse and a vase oh, and wow. some bowls. So these are examples of what our students do. And you can still feel the heat coming off of this right now. Yeah. Wow, this is fascinating art that you have here. We're in the studio of Peggy Pownall. Peggy, tell us a little bit about the medium that you use in your art. Well, I work um, in mixed media. I use a variety of painting techniques and a lot of collage elements. Um, my most recent work, I'm using old sewing patterns and incorporating them into paintings and adding a lot of stitching. And uh, so I, I do large paintings um, and then tear them apart and stitch them back together. And how long would that take you to do all that? They're quite time consuming. I would think so. Yes, I'm, I uh, work on a number of pieces at one time, so mm -hmm. I don't really time how long each piece takes, but, but part of the method is, um, is very time consuming. Wow. I love that. <laughs> I got to <laughs> tell you, Peggy, that is absolutely beautiful. I love them when they're framed. You do such great work, and we really appreciate talking to you today. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. you for being Thank in my you. studio. Goodness, there is so much stuff in here. Look at all Crazy. these looms. So, because there's so many looms in here, Tom, do you think she's looming? I think so. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know you're weaving. <laughs> no, she's weaving, but she's called a loomer. <laughs> no, right? I'm a weaver. You're a weaver. I'm a weaver. So we've yes. got a weaver and a loomer and a loom. And <laughs> what in the world? How did you get involved in this? This is magnificent. Well, I always wanted to learn to weave, and when I found somebody to teach me, I just ran with it. And I've been weaving for about 17 years now. It's my full-time job. Wow. And so, Deborah, you also teach other people how to weave. I do. We have classes here in the studio. I teach quite a number of people to weave, and I love sharing what I love to do with other people. Now, I see a lot of different uh, strands and all these things hanging from the wall. Tell me a little bit about that. 
Well, I do two kinds of weaving. I weave uh, the wall panels, which I've done commissions for many churches, and I also do pieces for people's homes. I also do the wearable art. And you know what, let's look at that, because that absolutely is stunning over there. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you. Well, that I looks feel, great on you. I feel like I'm wearing a piece of art. It is wearable art. Um, I like to think of it as wearable art because it's something that I create. Um, each one is individual, and I like to think about people walking around in something I've created and being happy because it makes them feel good. And it matches my jeans. You yes, think it, it would go with my outfit? <laughs> it might. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm willing to try. I, d I do make scarves. One of those would look really lovely on you. It's 85 degrees today. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a little warm, but you know this hat is quite cute. Now that's warm. And what do you guys think? <laughs> what a great way to spend an afternoon at Studio Channel Islands. Not only did we get to see all the artists at work, but you actually get to learn how to do it all. Right here in Camarillo. And like always with City Scene TV, I'm Tom. And I'm Sandy. And, and we'll, we'll tell, tell you, you where, where to go. go.